Flats, you can almost buy a charm with that. What the heck? Wait, what? Test your luck in the Lunar New Year modes. Bounty Hunter, capture the flag, and the flag blitz. Wait, what? When did this come out? Oh, it's... Wait, it's 201. Is there a patch? Wait, what? Reward? I'm guessing it's an icon. Wait. Oh, we gotta hit the shop. Wait, is this this has to be new, right? Because I would have it otherwise. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What? What is this? Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool skin. Okay, that's a very interesting syringe charm. I feel like they had to make it like this so it didn't actually look like a needle. You know what I mean? Like an actual needle would look kind of weird. So they had to like... You know, YouTube kids it up. What's the challenges? Is there challenges? Uh, challenges event? No, it's the same one. Is there anything else? Relog? Okay, so, event. Oh, there is new event challenges. Okay, good call, chat. Complete two challenges in the Lunar New Year for this little bag weapon charm. Four for, I think that's an old Echo skin. I'll take a look in a sec. Win 10 games of Bounty Hunter for a spray. Isn't the Bounty Hunter queues like insanely long? Eliminate the bounty target six times. Win six games and capture the flag. Oh, that's gonna, I don't know if that's happening. Win eight games and capture the flag blitz. What's, what's Blitz? Is that different? I never, I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, capture the flag and capture the flag of Blitz. Uh, and then also the, the other event is still going on. Kind of, kind of cool to have two events go at the same time though. Although they're very small. Um. Wait, is this it? No. It's this one, isn't it? Hang on, gotta double check. Yeah, I think it's I think it's the old one. <sighs> okay, I was talking, man. I haven't been doing much, you know, talking about stuff because I've I felt I don't know. I thought maybe I just kind of alone feel a little bit bored. Um, I just haven't felt like I've had anything to work towards or, or go towards or whatever. But uh, another event reused skin, man. That's kind of a big sad. Fifth morning. I just feel like there's nothing to grind for right now. There's like nothing to, nothing to play for other than those, you know, 10 coins per week or whatever it is. Um, is there anything else in this patch? So, no balance patch, which is kind of sad. Um, we got one, two new skins in the shop. Uh, then a bunch of reused ones again. It's kind of disappointing. Not gonna lie. I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, uh, but even game-wise, until the hog stuff comes, it's hard to deal with a lot of the other problems, because Sojourn's still a problem in high elo, um, and then Orisa's giga buffed to deal with hog, so people don't like playing against Orisa giga buffed, and, but Orisa needs to be giga buffed until hog comes down, and then Widow's dominating because Winston's not good, and dive tanks aren't good because hog is good, and so it's like, there's, it's kind of a lot right now, but I wish there was more, I guess, things to work towards, like, yeah, cool. Uh, trying to get people to play the other game modes is cool, we'll, like capture the flag and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that's the Lunar New Year event, but uh, wow, I, I hate to say it, uh, but this is even lighter than the Overwatch One updates like this. Thank you, Fish. All right, so there's a uh, blog post at least with it. That's something. Uh, good fortune and fun await the year of the rabbits. Okay. Good fortune, fun, wait, uh, Lunar New Year, fan favorite modes, returning and surprises in Overwatch 2. Time for the breakout of the fireworks, delicious food, and color for costumes. Okay, let me, uh, let me pause alerts for a sec.
so we can get through this. Um, the Lunar New Year is here. The Year of the Rabbit sensation begins on January 17th. And for Overwatch 2, brings new skins to collect, festive maps celebrating the holiday, and the return of fan favorite fun arcade brawls. You'll also earn free rewards when you log in and play and watch your favorite content creators on Twitch. Wait, what? Um, head over to Lijang Tower to see some fireworks light up in the night sky and jump into arcade brawls as part of the Lunar New Year event, including Capture the Flag, Capture the Flag Blitz, and Bounty Hunter. Uh, I can't actually... Pl so, is this just regular Capture the Flag? Because I think ranked Capture the Flag is a thing right now, and I can't even play with my friends because it goes off our Overwatch 1 GM MMR. Uh, so we can't stack and capture the flag. We can only solo queue or duo queue and capture the flag, which is depressing as hell. Um, so hopefully we can play with friends in that game mode. Uh, capture the flag is a, fan a fanatic and fun game mode where you must capture the opponent's flag while ensuring they don't do the same. Okay, fair enough. You can participate in the 2023 season for competitive capture the flag, which has already begun. Can't, not really, for me at least. Uh, coordinate with your team and play for top position on the leaderboard. Not really. Uh... Coordinate with your team and play for top position on the leaderboard? Uh, no, you actually can't do that because uh, you can't play with your friends. And you cannot stack above a two stack uh, if your Overwatch 1 GM MMR is higher. Or sorry, if your GM MMR from Overwatch 1 carries over. So uh, that is a blatant lie. Uh, and sorry, oh, I can't say that. I'll get demonetized. Hacking lie. Uh, and earn competitive points to unlock gold weapons and your favorite heroes. Capture the Flag Blitz is a fast paced version of Capture the Flag arcade brawl flag bases are placed near the center of the map expect to make quick decisions and fast plays to ensure your team comes out on top finally you can play the intense free-for-all brawl bounty hunter throughout the year of the rabbit seasonal event uh i don't even know what bounty hunter is i'm gonna be real with you dude uh whoever can secure a kill on an opponent first will have a bounty placed on them and well, I guess they're gonna explain it to me. And while they're the bounty, they earn even more points and get additional kills. Oh, okay, I played that. Uh, hunt down the bounty and get it transferred to you, but watch out. You can be seen even through walls and the floors if there's a bounty on your head. Can you survive the center of attention in this intense game mode? There's just this like, this is all fluff though. Like, I feel like, okay, next. Earn unique rewards when you log in and play. You can also earn rewards during the New Year Rabbit event, including the 2023 Year of the Rabbit player icon just for logging in. There are new events rewarding bonus cosmetics and Battle Pass XP when you play any of the New Year Brawls. Complete four of the event challenges to earn the Kachi Echo Legendary skin. You mean the one that we already have? Drop in good fortune on Twitch. Celebrate the Year of the Rabbit with your favorite content creators streaming live on Twitch to earn a victory pose and the legendary skin for Moira in the New Year's collection. This is honestly how they should do all the old skins. This way you kind of create, the, you kind of cultivate your creator economy. Um, but it also is like, you don't have to watch Twitch streams for it, but it also gives an opportunity for new players uh, to earn the skins, which is cool. It's kind of like a win-win for everybody, uh, but they're also obviously selling them. So they're probably making money off that and it's, Ah, uh, this is... Okay, let's just keep going. Watch for two hours of your linked Battle.net account. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, if your Battle.net account isn't set up to earn Twitch drops, Twitch out... The, also, this, this event's already live and it's been running for like the last five days, so it's a little late on uh, advertising it, just being honest. Uh, if your Battle.net account isn't set up with Twitch drops, it's an FAQ. Oh, so it isn't new drops, it's just the one that's already running and already actually the increased viewership for drops is already over. It's already gone back to normal because it, it's over. Um, even though it's, it is technically still running, it's just... Anyways. The Year of the Rabbit caps off with our second season of Overwatch 2. Season 3 is going to be packed with new content we can't wait to show you. Wishing you luck, peace, and happy in the new, lunar new year. Uh, yeah, thank you for wishing me luck because I'm going to need it at this rate. Um, well, I ain't going to lie, this is actually probably one of the sadder events I've actually seen. Even Overwatch 1, which was supposed to be, like, the dead game events, I feel like you got way more out of those. And I'm not even talking about, like... <sighs> like, at least I got to see all the skins that are coming up, and whether, like, obviously you, had to, you could buy them with coins so you didn't have to spend money. But, like, even if you have to spend money, I at least want to, like... I want to see all the new content that's coming. Like, there's nothing... Like, we booted up the game, and there's nothing here. There's... There's a 
we got a player icon for signing in. And then two challenges, you'll get this weapon charm and then a reused skin. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is uh It's 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 hard to it's hard to justify or or even look at the bright side of this one, because this is just kind of sad. It's kinda of weak.